as the next starter catch in Gen 9 series. Hello everybody, this is your boy Chris Blackthor here. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below. Don't think about this pokey video. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Alright, if as was to catch a next Gen 9 starter, I would say Sprigatito. Now you're wondering, uh, why? Why is Sprigatito? Fruit Cocos want better. No, Quaxley is. No. See, if you look carefully, and what I'm about to show you is, look at how his team is formed. Are you hearing me on this? Are you feeling me on this? It's like you're wondering. Dude, so what you trying to say? You trying to make sense? Or are you trying to make sense? Well, <laughs> I'm trying to make sense. And for each gen he has caught, everything started out as either Grass, water, twice, and fire. So, which is next? Grass. I mean, he's, he's caught more fire Pokemon than anybody ever did. Like Bobo saw in the hidden village. Come on, man. That was the first Pokemon he encountered. A, a, a headstrong Pokemon who was too much of a bodyguard. Let's put it like that. Like an ambassador. <laughs> but cool battles, cool times. Then... Charmander. And when in the episode Charmander destroyed Pokemon, let me say this. Why nobody not rest that boy, Damien? They should have rested Damien as soon as he left that Charmander on that little rock. Stranded. No food, no water. Just stranded him. But look what happened. It grew up to be a power Charizard under Ash's care. Then, here comes the Squirtle Squad. Where Ash's Squirtle was the leader. The leader. As in, so says the leader. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know that joke, but trust me, you understand someday. <laughs> <laughs> to put it to you lightly, same way with Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, I also have Ashes, you know, back when it comes to battles. Then Chikorita. <sighs> Doing Chikorita, the uh, Chikorita at rescue, I never know how it's going to go. But I will say this, she's very affectionate. That's right, you heard and I said she. And, well, we're good to bay leaf. <laughs> that body slam, that head butt, that razor leaf, that vine whip. Oof. Then send the quill. And good quill hunting. Hiding from two trainers. I didn't want to, you know, catch it. But yet, accepted one trainer. That was Ash. Helped out more battles than one and evolved into Quilava. Now, how many seasons did it take? It took two seasons for it to evolve to Quilava, so hey. Then the Total Dial Duel. Ash and Misty. They always had that, you know frenemy sister relationship when it came to the total dial <laughs> they become full boy enemies just like craziness but it was Ash's Pokeball Lure Ball that caught total dial so I ain't lying
then getting twiggy with it. Let me tell you something, you pokey tubers. How can I put this next part? Oh man, I forgot about Trico. Oh well. Getting twiggy with it was a video that says surprise. Yeah, you, you, you heard me at surprise. Now, why do I say that? Because unlike Turtwig, Chimchar had the same, the same, had that, that you no know, connection. One was friendly, the other one was, you know, cared for like a baby. Yes. Oh man, I forgot. Yeah, I did forget about Trico. Oops. I thought that made every Pokemon fan out there mad. But we evolved to Infra Ape. <laughs> then there's Oshawa. His his Oshawa is too too pompous. You heard me. Ash's Oshawa is too pompous. Why? It won't be praised for every time it battles or wants a battle. Then runs off like a little scared cat. Pompous. <laughs> Especially in Sendai, Gusha of Change. Mm -hmm. You won't believe me unless you watch your episodes yourself. <laughs> then, the Battle Club and Ted Pig's choice. Let me tell you something. When this Ted Pig was left at a Battle Club, it made me wonder who was it that left it. Then, when they got to battle and evolved to a pig knight, pure justice. Pure fiery justice. To a pig, to pig knight. They're sniving, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Snivy episode was more like, <laughs> catch me if you can. Show me how a strong trainer you are. Show me you have the power. <laughs> That's what the episode was seen. I mean, episode seven was like crazy. Then there's Froggy. Episode two in Loom City's pursuit. Froggy showed more potential with Ash than any other trainer that he was given to. No lie. 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 No to want to get stronger. Froggy, yes, but Litten <laughs> is stood up once he evolved into a Cineroar doing the final battle against Kukubi. <laughs> that said, it was strong. <laughs> Last is Cineroar standing. <laughs> and that's why I say Sprigatito. Tito should be as next catch. Myself. Especially, uh, I don't know how to put this next part. If they're going to um, age Ash into a teenager. I mean, with that Pokemon, that teen, oh yeah. But with that being said, I'm your boy Chris Blackthorn Harris. Welcome to my Pokemon TCG battles. I take it to the world max. You feel me? <laughs>